yet they would not hear. So God wanted to speak to them, but it just wouldn't do it. And finally, they wouldn't do it and listen. And he says, but the word of the Lord was unto them, precept upon precept, line upon line. Wow. So this is very important. The other thing I want to say is something so powerful, and that's Isaiah 30. I hope this is helping you. Really, I hope this is helping you. Uh, verse 29 and 32, and I'm sure you've experienced this. I have, I know I have. And that's what it says in verse 29, these amazing words. This is Isaiah 30, 30, 29. He shall have a song as in the night when a holy solemnity is kept and gladness of heart as when one goes with a pipe coming to the mountain of the Lord, to the mighty one of Israel. And the Lord shall cause his glorious voice to be heard. Did you hear that? That when we sing in the spirit, you'll have a song in the night as when one goes with a pipe to come to the mountain of the Lord, to the mighty one of Israel. And you will hear the glorious voice of the Lord. Wow. Wow. And through the voice of the Lord, verse 31, shall the Assyrian be beaten down. That's the enemy. So when you pray in tongues and, and, and then sing in the spirit, sing in tongues, God not only speaks to you, but he silences the enemy because it says the Lord will cause, through the voice of the Lord, will the Assyrian be beaten down. Wow, isn't it powerful? The word of God, I love it. In every place where the grounded staff shall pass, which the Lord shall lay upon him. It shall be with tablets, harps, in battles of shaking will he fight with it. Praying in the Spirit and singing in the Spirit is so powerful when it comes to hearing the voice of the Lord. And I think it's in these moments when God fills us afresh with the Holy Spirit. All right, so this is what I wanted to share with you. And I believe this is why, remember Paul the Apostle, he, he did not know God's plan, and he went to Macedonia, and he was in jail. What was he doing in that prison? Singing. And the plan of God was known to him right there when the jailer came and said, what must I do? And a revival broke out in the city. So he came, a man says, come help us in Acts 16. He's now in Macedonia. He's in jail. And what do they do? They're praying, and now they're singing to the Lord to the Lord, God silenced the enemy, shuts him down, the jailer, big earthquake happens, a big, uh, this jailer comes and says, what must I do? A big earthquake happens, a big, uh, this jailer comes and says, what must I do? And a revival hit the whole place. That is key. So get to pray in tongues and sing in tongues and watch what God will do. Lord, for your word. Come on, let's praise him. Let's praise him. I give you praise for your word, Lord. Thank you for what you showed us in your word today. To you be the glory and honor. And God's people said, Amen. Share this teaching with people because